the Upton design is a one-piece casting, therefore we've eliminated any welding that has taken place to the heat exchanger and we've also minimised any machining that we need to do. We also looked at the flow velocities going through the heat exchanger itself. Uh, the main concern with that was any um, particles which build up in the heat exchanger, we wanted the flow velocity high enough to actually wash them out. So within the actual heat exchanger itself we have end caps with a series of fingers on it that guide the water in a serpentine route through the actual heat exchanger itself. On the end of those fingers there are rubber seals and those rubber seals make sure that there's no bypassing in there. The sealing system that had been used between the sump and the heat exchanger, there was a number of efficiency gains that we could look at with this seal in how it's applied to the boiler and how the different components are actually assembled together. Making that seal engage with the outer combustion seal was quite a challenge to, to try and overcome. Once we proved that we could get the output through the heat exchanger, then we looked at uh, hot spots on the surface of the actual heat exchanger itself. So we tested it over 30 bar. We did cycle testing, so this is raising the temperature up to maximum and then varying the pressure from zero to six bar. And we did that for half a million cycles. We looked at scaling tests. That was run for three months. And then the last thing we, we did was erosion and corrosion testing. We generally run that at three times the flow rate that the boiler would normally operate. And again, we did that for a six month period to see what effect that would have on the heat exchanger. And again, we didn't see any detrimental effect to it. 